Hello comrades, Russian pro gunman here. In my previous video I made a guide on the fastest ways to get wins in Black Ops 3 and this would be useful whenever you have a challenge or a special contract like last weekend we had the triple played contract. For getting 100 wins you can get the triple play bundle which gives you a guaranteed weapon, melee weapon and 10 rare supply drops. Now if you did not manage to activate the contract last weekend you wouldn't have it right now and so instead I would recommend this guide which is a strategy on the fastest way to get XP in Black Ops 3. Here's my class setup for those of you that are interested. We are running a Razorback with the ELO and grip and stock. Now this kind of setup with submachine gun is actually recommended for the mode uh, Hardcore Domination which is best played uh, Nuketown, if you guys see Nuketown then definitely be sure to vote for it as it gives you absolutely the fastest XP in combination with such a fast XP mode. Now there are a lot of things to explain so I'm just gonna start off with the mode itself I guess, okay. So Hardcore Domination, why would you play this mode? for XP as compared to any other mode in the game. Well, I suggest Hardcore Domination because kills are always one shot, you always get the one shot one kill medal, which is an extra 100 XP on top of every single kill that you normally get, so you're receiving 100 extra XP per kill basically. In Hardcore Domination you also get to capture flags and that will also give you the secure medal for bonus XP so you're both getting kills for extra XP and you're also capturing objectives for even more bonus XP. Now, hardcore Domination is best played using a submachine gun and that is because you can uh, move the fastest, you're able to run with a maximum speed, the uh, same as with the pistols and shotguns and submachine guns, all of them allow you to run at the fastest possible game speed, which is a huge advantage when spawns flip and you need to head back to the other side of the map. Now, the weapons that I really recommend, out of these three classes of uh, submachine guns, shotguns and pistols, I will most frequently use submachine guns and pistols. The class setup that I recommend involves both, as you will have an MR6 pistol secondary, you have a primary of a submachine gun of your choice. Typically I recommend the Razorback, the Weevil or the Cuda. And if you do have the HG-40 DLC weapon or the MP-40 if you want to be original about it, any of these submachine guns are best for hardcore domination as they will get you a one-shot kill, you have plenty of rounds, and the attachments I really recommend on any of these weapons, it doesn't matter if it's the Razorback, Cuda, Weevil or HG-40, still you should always use the grip and the stock. Use the grip to reduce your recoil, the stock to be a move as fast as possible while you're aiming down sight, making it difficult for enemies to shoot you, because as easy as it is to get kills in one shot, you can also be killed in one shot. So that is the difficult side of hardcore. For those of you that think it's easy, just think about it the other way. The enemies also have a chance to kill you as easily as you kill them in one shot. So just keep that in mind. Always have the ELO sight on your weapon so you get the most precision whenever you are aiming at your enemies. I run the MR6 secondary as I said. Uh, the perk 1 I always run overclock and the reason for that is because my specialist is the uh, battery kinetic armor and that is extremely useful I'll get into that a little bit later but that is hands down the best specialist for hardcore I have fast hands as perk 2 that is to uh, since I'm rushing a lot I will uh, be able to aim down sight uh, re recover faster after sprinting it is basically a substitute for quick draw and uh, that allows us not to put on, not to waste an extra point for a third attachment. Basically we're just getting quick draw for one point instead of two because we already have our grip in stock. Um, 
In perk 3, I always run Dead Silence and Awareness for 3 points. If you do not, this is only if you have a headset. If you do not have a headset, then just run Dead Silence and... Uh, you can uh, choose what you'd like to do with the other points, you, other two points. You can put on extra attachment, put on a different perk somewhere. Uh, really, this is only my recommended setup. You use whatever you feel most comfortable with, but um, it's very important that you use uh, the battery kinetic armor specialist, okay? With your favorite setup. Because you need to feel as comfortable as possible when you're playing hardcore. Because you're gonna need to get at least uh, one shot on all your enemies. And mostly they will die very quickly. You can see I just pop the kinetic armor. Get one shot with or without. And that is the most important part. You've got to make sure you have the kinetic armor equipped. Other than that, if you do have a headset, it'll be very easy to uh, sound out your enemies with uh, awareness. If you don't, that is still okay. The most important benefit in hardcore is that you're able to get an extra 100 points per kill. You're always getting the one shot, one kill medal. And uh, I didn't talk about score streaks yet, so uh, you always want to make sure you're running the UAV. With this setup, we're not using anti-up, so it's going to take at least 500 score to even get to your UAV, which is a 5 kill streak. And uh, it is a low streak, but it is actually, if not the most valuable uh, kill streak, score streak ever introduced in Call of Duty, because whether you're up against a bad team or a good team, it'll always come in handy, and it is the streak that is always useful and you will be able to earn it the fastest in any situation so it's very a very well-rounded streak overall you will notice I am also using the dart in this game and that is because it is a very little streak for very low score it only requires 650 points and you're already in it and you can keep getting your doubles triples and quads even I'm playing we're playing hardcore domination and where you can have uh, four players on a flag and if you have your dart you can get literally get a quad feed I've had this happen multiple times I will upload this in the future, you guys will see in the upcoming videos. I have quad feeds with the darts and hardcore domination. I even set it as my uh, profile picture within the barracks in the uh, in my uh, for my Black Ops 2 profile on Xbox. Uh, so you guys can check that out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, mostly if you have a, even a relatively decent team. Now, if you don't actually have a decent team then the yeah, hardcore domination could be quite tough to play because uh, if you you're up against quite good enemies then uh, it's just going to be either a really even fight or maybe they'll be even spawn trapping you which is something you have to look out for typically I'll just back out at that point in the game if my team is doing that terrible because if you're up against many good players you'll see you're dying often from one shot and that's just a natural thing that happens in hardcore and that suggests that it is the time to find a new lobby, definitely. But on the flip side, you make sure you have a relatively decent team and you can easily, as I do here, you can get into the enemy spawn and try not to miss, but it could happen. That is why I run the Razorback as compared to other submachine guns because uh, this gun has a bit of a faster fire rate when you compare it to something like the HG40 which I also recommend but HG40 is basically a submachine gun that can also act as an assault rifle in uh, hardcore because you're able to get all those mid-range and even long-range kills with it but uh, faster fire rate will definitely save you in more close quarter situations where the uh, HG40, for those that do not know or do not have the DLC weapon, uh, it cannot compete so much up close because its fire rate is, is slowed down like that much. And uh, for that I would also recommend outside of the Razorback you have the CUDA and the Weevil. Those two have an increased fire rate that will help you in the close quarters and the mid range. However, when you get to the longer range, that is where you might want to think more about the Razorback and the HG40. You really have to pay attention to the map you're starting out with in the beginning of the game, and you think about, do I need more of a closer range rapid firing submachine gun or a longer range SMG uh, instead. So, 
really that's all the things to consider uh, capture the flags as much as you can uh, you will also notice in this game I'm approaching the A spawn and I get right on the flag and I get as many kills as I can on the flag for the extra points I make sure I'm calling in my dart and I usually call it in whenever the enemy does not have B so that means that's two possibilities the B flag could be neutral or my team could own the B flag and then I usually call in my dart because that will obviously be the only situations where the enemy team is actually approaching the flag and this is an absolute beastly triple to end the game when the enemy will approach the B flag you're likely to get doubles and triples and even quads then so well quads is a little bit uh, rare you'll have to probably you have to call your dart in right on a spawn flip and hopefully get to the other side as fast as you can you'll have to call it in a little bit before then but then you can probably if you can get to the other side of the map you can have a chance at that quad feed an absolutely beastly gameplay uh, we went 85 and 20 it will be on the screen again I loved it I had 9000 score for this game and honestly, this is more or less a typical game that I have on Hardcore Dom for Nuketown. I have even higher gameplays than this, but this kind of game is just to give you guys an idea of what you can expect from Hardcore Domination if you get it on Nuketown. Now, I know this won't happen the first time you try this out, but you have to keep on trying. And you can analyze, this, break down, uh, see how I played this game out. Notice the routes I'm taking. Notice any things I'm doing repeatedly. Um, uh, notice my strategy, really, because and you try it out for yourself. You know, look at all the XP I'm getting. Um, the total match XP I believe was nearly thirty thousand, and this is just from medals. Okay, no challenges were gained during this game is the standard hardcore domination xp that you get all these one shot one kill medals everything else um, this is just what you can expect from hardcore domination